let's make our big butts disappear. No, this is not a message on weight loss or body training. Let me explain. Today is Easter. Friday was Good Friday. When I think about these two important days, the following comes to mind. First, the Savior took upon him the sins of the world. And let me be specific. He gave his life and sacrifice for you and yes, for me. He saved others by not saving himself. By this act, we are forgiven. We are taught to follow Christ and Christ taught and showed us the way. One of the hardest ways for us to follow him is to forgive others as we have been forgiven. This is where the big butts can get in the way. Sometimes we get clouded by thinking that it's okay for us to not forgive someone. We can think, yes, we should forgive most people, but this one person did something so bad, I cannot forgive them. Unfortunately, that thinking goes against what Christ taught. We are to forgive without any buts or conditions. It is simple, yet hard to do. Some encouragement for me and for you is to remember the significance of this Easter day. He lives. One of the things that resurrection signifies is that even after trial, we live. We can thrive in glory even after we have wallowed in sin. We can find and give forgiveness and we live. In fact, allow me to suggest that when you remove your big butt against forgiving that person or people, you will find a greater joy in this life and in the life to come. On this day, be grateful that you have the gift of forgiveness. Really take a moment to ponder and accept that. That good feeling that comes when you think of that will only be compounded when you freely give that gift to others without any buts. Our lives are a journey full of practice. We will likely not execute perfectly, but I hope you join me in trying. Blessings to you and happy Easter.